What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Now, thank you so much for supporting my last video. Y'all kept me excited and ready to go for another round. So this next video, not only am I doing something that's easy to just do, but it's also fire. I'm telling you, I had to re-record this after I made it to show y'all how excited I was. Now, we're gonna be using transfer paper this time. Now, I've seen a lot of videos online that have been doing this, but they've been doing it in the most unseasonable way. And this time I'm gonna add a little bit of tea, you know, flavor to these jackets. And I'll teach you how, and I will give you all the supplies you need, like in the description below. So let's get started. I'm excited, let's go. If you like this video, like and subscribe. <laughs> now for this project, you're gonna need an iron, jacket, transfer paper, computer, and printer. So first off, we're gonna find comic strips of our favorite character. So I went to Google or Pinterest and typed in Tanjiro comic and found something that would look way beyond this jacket. For the second half of the jacket, we're gonna find a outline of that character. So I put Tanjiro outline, and I'm gonna use this one right here because I think it would look the best for this style of jacket. Now for this next part, you're gonna need some editing software. And if you're like me, you don't wanna pay for Photoshop or anything like that. So pixlr.com is a very good alternative. Go to adjustments and then invert colors to make it black and white. Now, if you want to save ink when you're printing, click the cut button and then click polygon up at the top and just click around your page and then cut it out. By now, y'all probably tired of this computer stuff, but you just got one more step on this computer. So you go to blockposters.com and then you click upload the image and then after it's uploaded, I have mine's one by one landscape. And that helps expand the photo so it makes it larger for that part of the jacket. Download your image, print it out, and now it's time for the fun part. Please do not be like me and read the instructions. I threw mine's out because I thought I ain't need no instructions and surely enough tow up a good shirt. So don't be that. Next step, we're almost there, hang in there. So we take this comic book strips and then we line them up on the back of the jacket from top to bottom. And we use the wax paper and iron it really slowly to try to make sure that it's evenly laid out and we don't mess up the image. This is how it looks when it's finished. Now you can realistically stop here cause it still looks good, but you know me, I like to add a little, a little extra flavor to it. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep going. Now we're gonna take the black and white outline and we're gonna cut it out with an X-Acto knife and do the same thing. Iron it down, make sure it's smooth and everything looks good. Last, we're gonna repeat this step for the two front pockets. Now it's time for the final product. One of the greatest poets of our time once said, I got too much sauce. This is what Future was talking about. This jacket came out too good. I am very happy with this product. Let me know what you guys think. If you liked it, thumbs up if you loved it hit that subscribe button and see you again next time